yesterday I made a video where I went over my Bitcoin trading plans, went over my levels, and uh, some potential scenarios that I was looking at. And uh, at that time, we were right about here. And so I want to talk about what has happened since then. One of my scenarios ended up playing out pretty perfectly. Another one did kind of end up playing out, but we didn't get uh, much follow through with that one. And I want to go over the uh, trades that I'm in right now. So I did take a trade up here. That one ended up getting stopped out at a small loss. And then when I woke up this morning, I actually had missed this move, but I was able to get in right here and I'll go over how I did that. So first off, I was uh, targeting these boxes because number one, they were some fib levels, the golden pocket and the 786 of this move. And uh, these were also some highs that I was basically looking to take out. I was essentially looking for price to come above these levels, hit uh, whatever stop losses were above these highs, and uh, then get a quick move back down. That was uh, basically my trading plans yesterday. And when we hit off of my first resistance box, we actually did form some uh, bearish divergences here with uh, momentum and money flow. See that on the three minute as well. Um, I think even, yeah, on the 12 minute. Uh, money flow is still coming up on the 12 minute, but we still got the uh, divergences up to the 12 minute. And we got pretty much what I was looking for. Uh, we took out this high over here. We quickly wicked above it, quickly came back down. We actually did technically get a one minute CDW right here, but then we just uh, you know took out that high right away. And uh, so I wouldn't really call this a one minute CDW, but, but on some of these higher time frames, this uh, does look like a liquidity grab. We got some wicks above here, uh, didn't quite close the candle below these highs right here but it was pretty close and then you know we immediately started to drop so you know that looked like a decent trade um like i said in my video i wasn't really rushing to get into any shorts so i made sure to keep my risk low with this one and uh we never actually ended up hitting my tp1 we only had like a 0.36 percent move but i did move my uh stop loss to above these previous highs um, to take off some of my risk and I just uh, you know TP'd a little bit for my long So it was basically a uh, break even you know I lost a little bit of profits out of my long but you know that's all right and uh, Then this morning we got this whole mess of candles right here and This happened at like 8 a.m. So I was actually asleep when this was going on but uh, when we got this Darth Maul candle here, we actually ended up coming right into my second zone of resistance. We took out these highs over here, came pretty close to tapping off that 786. We still got a rejection in between the golden pocket and the 786. So, you know, didn't have to exactly tap off it. And uh, we still took out these highs over here. And we did that with even more bearish divergences, even up to the 24 minute and on the 12 minute you can even see the money flow decreasing as well as we're forming these divergences i mean this looks like some wild price action right here did we go up or down first i'm not sure it looks like we might have come up then down then all the way back up again so i mean you could have had a chance to re-enter because uh, we came up pretty close to those highs um but like I said, I actually didn't end up getting in until this retrace right here. So when I woke up, I saw all this nonsense that was going on. First thing I did was I pulled a fib and I actually pulled it from this high right here because, um, you know, this, this candle is weird. I kind of just ignored that. We had these highs and these lows, so I just pulled the fib from there. And I saw that we got a, you know, pretty much perfect rejection off the 786. And uh, so I decided to pull up coinalize.net and check and see if we got any absorption there. And we most certainly did. Now, you could say we got absorption from this candle because uh, that wick is when we saw this massive decrease in open interest. And, uh, you know, typically when we see this, I like to 
measure the open interest from the bottom of whatever it got to in that candle. So I would be measuring it from here. But uh, even if you don't want to do that, let's say you want to measure from this high to this high. And, uh, you know, still uh, definitely got that absorption. We saw price making a lower high right here. We saw the CVD making a higher high with open interest obviously increasing. And that, you know, basically gave me enough confidence to want to short that golden pocket retrace or 786 retrace, you know, this uh, zone between these two fib levels. And uh, so far, the short ended up playing out pretty good. We actually just came down and hit my TP1. So I can uh, now go ahead and lock in this trade. And uh, yeah, now I'm basically short from right here, and I'm still long from the bottom of that move. So my next target for this short would probably be the uh, golden pocket. Um, you know, I may be watching this 0.5 fib just because we've, you know, held support in this area before. But this uh, golden pocket value area low confluence is uh, really drawing my eye. So this may be a place I would uh, look to TP next. And uh, maybe if we can see some bullish absorption or maybe some local bullish divs here, I might want to add a little bit into my long. And uh, yeah, that's basically, uh, you know, how I'm playing this right now. We could also be looking at like a diamond type thing here because we got, uh, you know, this little range. We then got crazy move setting new highs and new lows. Uh, you could technically consider this a uh, diamond of sorts, I guess. Maybe we broke it already? I don't know. I don't trade patterns too much, but um, a diamond is a reversal pattern, which would mean that this would be a bearish diamond, considering we got this move to the upside beforehand. And now that I'm in a short, I may be looking to hold this down to that untapped daily level I was talking about, right down at 16,430. This is also the value area low of the larger range here. And we didn't quite make it up to the value area high up here, but you know, you could say we got a move towards the top of the range. So now maybe we could be looking at a move back down to the bottom of the range, but I am still holding my long. Uh, you know, things aren't looking super certain in either direction here. Uh, the four hour is looking a bit more bearish than it was yesterday. The money flow is still trending downwards, but I'm still holding my long just in case, I don't know, we see some crazy Christmas rally or something. And uh, yeah, you know, other than that, the levels are still pretty much the same. We still have, uh, you know, in my opinion, heavy resistance at 17,300, uh, at 17,500. And uh, I'm still watching 16,400 and 16,200 for uh, potential longs. And I will also be watching uh, this 17K level, uh, potentially taking out these highs. Uh, and we have a daily and a value area high up here as well. So yeah, uh, levels are still pretty much the same. Longer term plans are still pretty much the same. And uh, right now I'm uh, positioned in both directions.